Hey everybody! So I feel like doing a video post. It's dinner time, so we're gonna have dinner. There's dinner. It's Chinese food. It's Kung Pao bean curd, vegetable fried rice, spring roll, which I already took a bite out of. I'm hungry. I just got my hair done. It's a little messy right at the moment, but yeah. At least it's a little color fight and stuff. So I figured I'd just do the post this way about the weekend. I don't know how much you like to watch me eat with my mouth open. Because that's pretty. I'm going to eat a piece of tofu and then we'll get to it. Mm. Okay. Acceptable. And hopefully it won't make me sick. I hope. Anyway, so Friday I actually had to work. I had to do an event that I have to do every year. And then I drove my little heart out to New York. And I guess everybody else was already there. Well, not everybody. When I say everybody, I mean Britt, Becky, and Carl were already there. But I think Rich Championable was there too, but I never saw him. But I saw a picture of him, so I guess he was there. But I don't read his blog, sorry. So I don't know too much about him. So blah, blah, blah. You're awesome. I think. <laughs> anyway. I got into town at, I don't know, I think 10 o'clock. And by then... I was too tired to do anything exciting with everybody. So, I just went to the basement. And, I don't really remember that day. I think we were both hungry. Oh, there, um... Yeah, there were chicken rolls upstairs, but I don't really like chicken so much. Sorry. Uh, so I didn't eat that. I know I had grapes and cherries that day instead. And we talked with Dog's parents for a little bit. And I'm sure this is fascinating for you all. Then... I don't really remember that day. Sorry. And the next morning, we went to church. And after church, we went to breakfast and had a really good omelet. And after breakfast, keep it going, little lady. After breakfast, we went to New Jersey, I'm pretty sure. And I met Pudding and the Wolves at a birthday party. So I have now been introduced to almost everybody that I need to be introduced to to be accepted into the world. Well, okay. Really, if Pudding didn't like me, that would have been a problem. I think the wolves are okay with me. And that's all that matters. I loved them. I thought they were all great. I got their birthdays wrong. I got Blinky's birthday right. <laughs> I thought it was the professor's birthday, and it was not. Oh, well. So that was that. And that was an interesting time. It was a little crazy. And then there was a torrential rainstorm on the way back out. And we met up with Britt, Becky, Carl, Sissa, Robin from Bella Venta who is a friend of Libra Girl, a blog friend of Libra Girl, a real life friend of Libra Girl. I didn't mean to say real life, but you know what I mean, right? Right? Okay, yeah. And we also saw Neil from Citizen of the Month, and we saw Keith. Now, Becky, I'm really glad that you got some lip action with him. And Carl, I'm really glad I pulled you aside about him. I don't care for Keith. Keith, if you're watching this vlog, Please don't ever join our group again. Else I'm fucking kicking your ass. 
because we were there to hang out with each other, not get scammed by some asshole. So, you know, the next time you want to make out with people and take them home and steal their identities and stuff, go hit on another group. Really. I'm shoving tofu up your ass. We had a good time anyway. We went to a bar and had food. And I had my Stella and my Newcastle there. And was really trashed after just those two because I'm a dork. And then we went across the street to a karaoke bar whose name I cannot remember. And I had a Budweiser for the first time ever. Dog bought me a Budweiser. And I recall it being quite tasty actually. I. I was already drunk, so maybe it was drunk tongue, but it was really good. Mm. And then after that, what we do? Oh, we went to an Irish bar. And the only reason why we went to the Irish bar was so people could take a pee break and then decide what they were going to do. If they were going to go home or go do something else. And everybody decided it was time to go home. And while everybody else, I don't know what everybody else did, I think they kind of like went outside or something. But Dog and I got to talk to Brit all alone. So we had our alone time with Brit and not in a dirty way. It was in the we love Brit way. It was a good time. I like hanging out with Brit. You know why? Because she's fun and she's soft. Mm hmm. Cabbage. Mm. Yeah, there's shrimp in here. I'm not allergic to shrimp, I just don't eat shrimp. I don't eat seafood. So pardon me while I take this out. And then, Dog and I went home. He ended his truck that day, so he drove us home. Anyway, I, thank you for doing that. You know, I can't drive in the city quite yet. I, I will work on it. And then, you know, it was bedtime. And so we went to bed. I'll stay one and two. And we'll pause it right there for the adventures. But I will tell you a story about the way home. Because I still have Sunday and Monday to cover. For the last day and next day. So today, on the way home, neither my ATM card nor my credit card wanted to work. And it turns out, over the weekend, my ATM card, um, not mine, but my bank's uh, customer base had a breach of some sort where there were fraudulent charges. And that would have been okay because they put a stop on it. So you couldn't use the credit card portion, but you could still use the debit card. But when I go to gas stations, I use the credit card portion, not the debit card portion. It doesn't matter. I don't have to type my PIN into the machine. That's why I prefer not to use that part. Anyway, that part didn't work, so I tried my credit card, and that didn't work either. And it turns out... It's the first time that I've used my credit card while I've been on a trip to see Dog. I won't say anything about that. Anyway, I'll wrap this up real quick. But the reason for that was the Hannaford breach back in December that was discovered in Mar uh, February that was publicized in March, I think. So I got double whammied. And it's lucky I had cash to go home with because otherwise I would have been screwed. I did find out on the way home that my ATM card did work as, as a debit card. But lesson learned, always bring cash. This has been part one.